Convicted murderer Stephen Avery will not get a new trial. Avery's attorneys had argued that errors in handling a juror warranted a new trial, but the judge issued his contrary decision today. Fox 11's Mark Leland has new details and reaction. Defense attorneys for Stephen Avery point to the dismissal of a juror as the key reason a new trial should be granted. It occurred in the deliberation stage in the 2007 murder trial. Judge Patrick Willis disagrees. In his 102-page court decision, he states, if the court did commit error, such error was harmless. Willis was referring to the court questioning juror Richard Mahler, who asked to be excused for a personal family emergency. Mahler was questioned with defense attorney's consent, but without Avery and his counsel present. One of our arguments is that the removal of a deliberating juror is an error that is sufficiently grave that uh, a new trial is required. Defense attorney Suzanne Hagopian also argued the jury was not allowed to consider anyone other than Avery or his nephew Brendan Dashey for the crime. The judge indicated the defense failed to provide sufficient evidence to do so. Agopian maintains their claims for a new trial remain strong and plan to appeal. The judge, though, writes Avery received a fair trial. His case was decided by 12 jurors who heard all the evidence and rendered verdicts undistracted by any serious personal issues. The lengthy decision by the judge brings up several previous cases that are the basis for a new trial in this case. But Judge Willis indicates the circumstances in the Avery case are different. He writes the defendant's general right to be present with counsel was not violated under the particular facts of this case. District Attorney Ken Kratz, who prosecuted Avery, denied comment on the judge's decision but was confident after last fall's motions hearing. His constitutional right to uh, a 12-person jury was maintained. Avery's state-appointed defense team isn't giving up. Well, I think it's fair that that a higher court's going to have to resolve some of this. Motions are due to the Court of Appeals in 20 days. Mark Leland, Fox 11 News. Calls for comments on the judge's decision to the victim's family were not returned. Avery's trial attorney also declined comment. Now, you can read the judge's entire 102-page decision and a breakdown analysis by going to our website and looking under latest news.